What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Asa Studio. Today I have an awesome tutorial for you and I will be showing you how to create the artificial rain in Photoshop. Alright, so this is a trick you can use to show people or to tell people, make people think rain is falling in your image. So let's get started. The first thing first, get the image you want to use. The second thing is to create a new layer. Let's create a new layer. Just one. New layer. And then grab the brush to make your brush as small as this 10 size 10 or lower below and then i'm going to focus more on the top part so just create a tiny dot like this so many tiny dots so i'm going to create so many tiny dots and i'm going to come back to the video all right so here we are with our tiny dot and now what we need to do is to create so many of that layer so hit ctrl j like the layer it's ctrl j cancel well it's ctrl j to duplicate take the move to and then hold down control and drag it below like this and do so Con select the other one ctrl j hold down control and drag it below so we're creating multiple layer ctrl j hold down control and drag it below you can hold down shift four to make it aligned straight ctrl j Hold down control, drag it below like this, and for the last one, control J, hold down control, and drag it below. And so we have this tiny droplet all over the place. I'm gonna put everything together. Select everything and then right click and merge layers. So we have the first one layer on the image. Now we are going to make this tiny dot look as if rain is actually falling so from top go to select the layer we're going to rename it rain one it's enter now go to filter blur question blur sorry uh, motion blur and now we're going to blow it up take it to somewhere like it's actually very blurry let's leave it with this peak no, that's too much let's make that 351 looks fine to me and now the direction is actually straight downward which you can leave it like this i like it and we can click ok if you want to make it look directional like uh the rain is falling at an angle you can also do it like that now we're going to make duplicates of this one and ctrl j now the more you create the more the effect you can see now, before we do that, or before we go further, we can also duplicate. The more you duplicate, the more you see the effect. Now, uh, we're going to mask the first two. And while we're masking it, there are some places that don't need to show rain is falling, so like the sky. So we're going to grab our brush tool, make it bigger, and decrease flow at some one percent, and then make the foreground color black. And we're going to paint it from the sky like this so you get uh, the less effects over there you can turn this on and also erase from the sky let's decrease the flow and then erase a little bit something like that now the rain is falling straight down words so we can actually decrease the opacity of this one and then we have it now there are some other things we need to consider now like the ground when rain is falling the ground needs to be wet so how do we create a wet effect and besides we need also when rain is falling the zinc needs to drop you know water downwards but before that let's do the water effect first of all now i'm going to grab a new layer select the brush to make it bigger so we won't waste time make sure the program color is white and then paint below let's increase the intro z increase the flow to the end and then bring these down i'm gonna do that again from this place make sure not to hit the horizon so more like this and then there we go so just paint that away and now i'm going to change the blending mode to screen let's change it to screen leave it at screen oh sorry soft light i mean put soft light now i'm going to remove it from the um the brighter side so as to get the as if water is in the holes on in the ground let me show you what i mean now you see the everywhere is actually bright right now 
just to just follow me double click to open up the blending option now we're going to make the water on the brighter side reflect like it's reflecting the sky so what how do we do that we're going to use this layer not the underlying layer so we'll drag it from the darker side okay that doesn't have to be the underlying layer oh yeah the underlying layer so we're going to leave it like this and then hit alt and click and separate and now here we go so it's as if the ground are wet that's what i'm trying to say so we're going to leave it like this let's find a sweet spot for it and that's that we're going to hit okay now we're still going to create another layer to make water in the hole we want to perceive the image as if water is in the hole on the floor inside this hole is water passing through so this is how to do that now we're going to grab the brush to same color white and i'm going to paint like this and like this over this one we're not using any blending mode or using it direct like that so double click to open up the blending mode once you open up the blending mode you are going to use uh Heat up the screen. Let's see the one that works. Okay, the underlying layer. Then, now we want to remove it from the brighter side so that it's going to fill the hole like water is in the hole. So you can see what I'm trying to say. Now, once we do it like that, it all to separate and take this down, something like that. Let's also remove it that side and pocket the hole water inside the hole. So something like this. Now, the reason why it's looking odd is because it's on the rain we need to drag it below we need to drag it below so let's just smooth in the transition and then it's okay now we have it like this i'm going to drag it down down and there we go so we can go and then things double click to bring it bring it up again and then i'm going to remove it from the brighter side so it's as if water is in is actually in the hole in the ground so let me take it make it look more interesting so something like this so you can see the effect before and then the after before and then the after i'm going to drag this one below it also so we have it like this now if you take it above it's going to lighten the image which we don't want to do that so i want to bring it above below now we could go ahead let's open it up again and set it maybe set it so set it yeah so this looks great looks great to me yeah. and you could decrease the fill so see what that is inside now we have it like this now that's not the end we need to make the roof the water drop from the roof so let's go ahead and create a new layer select the brush tool and this time same thing we did at the beginning we're going to do it so let's go straight from the roof and then create dot 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 all over so something like this so those that's too big make it small 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 okay so we're going to create it down low like this follow down the roof so the more we go further the more it's getting smaller so let's do it so i'm going to pause the video and i'm going to break those dots now same thing also i'm going to do it around there and follow the horizon like that i see if it's a street like Something like this. Let's do it a little bit faster. So I'm going to do it 17, 17, 17. I'm going to follow down below like this. You don't need to do everywhere, but you can also duplicate it. You see, I just did one wrong. Okay, let's do it again. More like a street light. So that should be fine. You do okay that and like this i'm just trying to be fast you can take your time and you know do the rest okay so now we have this now we're going to do the same thing let's go to filter to blur motion blur 
and we're going to blow it straight ahead. Now we're going to make this one lower like this, okay? Then click OK. So it's falling straight ahead on the floor. So we could decrease the opacity like this. So just check the difference. You just know something is falling on the floor. So the before and then the after. So it just creates the illusion that the rain is dropping from the roof. All right. So after that, we need one more thing. Now when we need mist, yeah, something like a cold feeling in the sky. So let's grab a new layer, grab a brush tool, make it big. Now we're going to draw it as if some places are cold. So I'm just going to do it somewhere around here. Let's create a flow. I'm going to do it somewhere around here like this. I'm going to do it around like this. Let's say here yeah, should be cold too. Then somewhere in the sky. Let's do this okay all right so now that we have this if we go to filter go to block and go to block and we're going to blow it out like this let's find the stress for a bit take it back take it back okay so now let's start blowing the image all right so we're going to blow it i'm going to blow the image now to somewhere around 184 so something like this and then i'm going to click ok and we could decrease the fill decrease the fill to somewhere around let's say 20 percent so something like this and now there you go with your rain effect in photoshop all right let's put all together and see our before and after so take a look at the before and take a look at the after before and then after thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel kindly subscribe see you in our next video once again this is asap studio thank you